Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt here, and welcome to a quick video. Um, I'm going to keep this quite short because it's not too difficult to do on how to, you know, actually make power ups spawn into your map. Now, to do this, what you want to do is go to um, let's do info volume. There we go. I usually use a volume just because it's possibly one of the easiest ones to use. You know, it doesn't really have any scripts to do with this. Um, so yeah, now you need to cover this over the area that you, that you want to have um, power ups in. So of course, if you do it outside of the map, then power ups can be outside of the map. Okay, and you know you don't really want that, of course. Right. So that's right. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower than the actual zone, just so we can tell the difference between the, the actual zone and the playable area. Okay. Now you can't add more than one playable area. Okay, the only way you can actually do this to make two is by splitting it into half, and you know basically instead instead of copying it, you have to keep keep so that you can split it. You can deselect one section and you can use it in for another part of the map. Okay, that's like the only way I know how to actually make more than one playable area. You know to basically fit you know different room shapes and not allow power ups to um spawn outside of the map that's the only way i know how to do it so yeah so then guys once you've done that of course this is just the volume it doesn't do anything so you need to add two keys and values the they'll also be in the, in the description guys below so then what these are going to be as you know it's not two so it's only one and um, target name like that and play play a ball area easy as that guys as soon as you've done that um key and value it's done okay so now when you go into your map you'll be able to actually pick up power ups and yeah so it's easy as that guys so yeah um, thanks for watching this and um, thanks for your support as always and remember if you get any problems please leave a comment below and i'll try my best to help you there in the next video guys we're going to be adding in that well we're not going to be adding in sorry the actual map itself is done now but we're going to be adding a main menu start button so basically when your game loads yeah, when you actually load your mod, it'll say, you know, like, map name, solo, you know, like, um, obviously where map name is, you know, you'll put your map name and it'll say, you'll play this map to go solo, play this map to go co-op, and it looks a lot more professional, guys, and it's also a lot easier to launch your map, because it's a lot faster than typing it into the console line at the top of the, you know, at the, top of the screen in the game. So, you yeah, guys, we'll be doing that next video, and then once we've done that, it's the final video then after that of the basics of mapping where we'll be actually compiling the map and then after that we'll be going into slightly more advanced things where we'll be adding in doors, pipes and um, all that sort of cool stuff. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this, thanks for your support as always again and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.